السلام علیکم ویورس آئی ایم عبید فاروقی اینڈ دس از مائی چینل ایجو اینٹینمنٹ السلام علیکم گڈ مارننگ اسٹوڈنٹس اینڈ ہاؤ ار یو آل علیکم السلام گڈ مارننگ سر عبید وی آل ار فائن تھینک یو ٹوڈے آئی ایم ٹیلنگ آل اف یو اباؤٹ ا میڈیکل ایکوپمنٹ نیم ڈائیتھرمی اور کاٹری مشین وچ از یوز ان آپریٹنگ روم ان ہاسپٹل اوکے سر ٹیل اس وٹ از ڈائیتھرمی اور کاٹری مشین Diathermy is the use of high-frequency alternate polarity radio wave electrical current to cut or coagulate tissue during surgery. It allows for precise incisions to be made with limited blood loss and is now used in nearly all surgical disciplines. Kindly tell us about the mechanism. Diathermy uses very high frequencies, around 0.5-3 MHz of electrical current. This allows diathermy to avoid the frequencies used by body systems generating electrical current, such as skeletal muscle and cardiac tissue, allowing body physiology to be broadly unaffected during its use. The radio frequencies generated by the diathermy heat the tissue to allow for cutting and coagulation, by creating intracellular oscillation of molecules within the cells. Depending on the temperature reached, different results occur at 60 oc cell death occurs fulgurate between 60-99 oc dehydration occurs and the tissues coagulate and at around 100 oc the tissues vaporize cutting due to the small surface area at the point of the electrode the current density is high producing a focal effect and allowing the tissues to heat up rapidly in monopolar diathermy As the current passes through the body, the current density decreases rapidly as the surface area the current acts across increases. Consequently, this allows for focused heating of tissues at the point of use, without heating up the body systemically. Why are high frequency currents safe? 1. The 1-3 MHz is quite a high frequency in comparison with that of the 50 Hz main supply. This high frequency avoids the intense muscle activity and the electrocution hazards which occur if lower frequencies are employed. 2. The power levels required for electrosurgery are below the threshold of neural stimulation provided that the diathermy frequency is in the radio frequency range. 3. When the frequency is at least 300 khz, Both the phoratic and the electrolytic effects are largely eliminated during the flow of current through the human tissue. 4. This allows the exclusive utilization of the thermal effect in high-frequency surgery providing both the applications for cutting and coagulation. How many techniques of diathermy used in surgery? Diathermy used in surgery is of typically two techniques. Monopolar and bipolar. What is monopolar? The configuration of the diathermy devices can be either monopolar or bipolar. Both actions require the electrical circuit to be completed, but vary in how this is achieved. In monopolar action, the electrical current oscillates between the surgeon's electrode through the patient's body until it meets the grounding plate, typically positioned underneath the patient's leg, to complete the circuit. What is bipolar? In bipolar diathermy, the two electrodes are found on the instrument itself. The bipolar arrangement negates the need for a dispersive electrode, instead a pair of similar sized electrodes are used in tandem. The current is then passed between the electrodes. Bipolar is most commonly used in operations of the digits, to avoid monopolar current focused over a smaller region in patients with pacemakers to avoid electrical involvement with the pacemaker or in microsurgery. What are the modes of electrosurgery techniques? The modes of electrosurgery techniques are 1. Cutting, electrotomy, 2. Coagulation, 3. Fulguration, 4. Desiccation and 5. Hemostasis. What is the principle of surgical diathermy? 1. High frequency currents in the range of 1-3 MHz can be used in operating rooms for surgical purposes involving cutting and coagulation. 2. Surgical diathermy machines depend on the heating effect of electric current. 
3. When high frequency current flows through the sharp edge of a wire loop or band loop or the point of a needle into the tissue, there is a high concentration of current at this point. 4. The tissue is heated to such an extent that the cells which are immediately under the electrode, are torn apart by the boiling of the cell fluid. 5. The indifferent electrode establishes a large area of contact with the patient and the RF current is therefore dispersed so that very little heat is developed at this electrode. 6. This type of tissue separation forms the basis of electrosurgical cutting. What is ease? You. An ease. You, electrosurgical unit, consists of basically a high frequency power oscillator. 1. Spark gap oscillator, generates damped high frequency current which is specifically suitable for the coagulation of all kinds of tissues. 2. Solid state oscillator, generates undamped high frequency current which is suitable for making clean cutting. Sir, what is cutting? Cutting uses a continuous waveform with a low voltage. In cutting mode, the electrode reaches a high enough power to vaporize the water content. Hence it is able to perform a clean cut, but is less efficient at coagulating. The cutting mode focuses heat at the surgical site, using sparks being the more focused way to distribute heat. The cutting mode should therefore be used with the tip slightly away from the tissue. What is coagulation? Coagulation alternatively uses a pulsed waveform with a high voltage. In coagulation, the waveform is at a lower average power, not generating enough heat for explosive vaporization, but enough for thermal coagulation. The tip should be held slightly away from the tissue, however the sparks are spread over a wider area causing charring rather than cutting. What is fulguration? The term fulguration refers to superficial tissue destruction without affecting deep-seated tissues. This is undertaken by passing sparks from a needle or a ball electrode of small diameter to the tissue. When the electrode is held near the tissue without touching it, an electric arc is produced, whose heat dries out the tissue. Fulguration permits fistulas and residual cysts to be cauterized and minor hemorrhages to be stopped. What is desiccation? In desiccation, needle point electrodes are stuck into the tissue and then kept steady. Depending upon the intensity and duration of the current, a high local increase in heat will be obtained. The tissue changes due to drying and limited coagulation. What is hemostasis? The concurrent use of continuous radio frequency current for cutting and a burst wave radio frequency for coagulation is called hemostasis mode. The cutting current usually results in bleeding at the site of incision whereas the surgeon would require bloodless cutting. The machines achieve this by combining the two waveforms. The frequency of this blended waveform is generally the same as that used for cutting current. Is any another type? There is also a mixed or blend mode, acting in between as both cutting and coagulating. However this is not widely used. What are the advantages of using high frequency currents? The advantages are, 1. The separation of tissues by electric current always takes place immediately in front of the cutting edge and is not caused by it. 2. Electric cutting therefore, does not require any application of force. Instead it facilitates elegant and effortless surgery. 3. The electrode virtually melts through the tissue instantaneously and seals capillary and other vessels, thus preventing contamination by bacteria. 4. A simplified method of coagulation saves valuable time since bleeding can be arrested immediately by touching the spot briefly with the coagulating electrode. What is laparoscopic diathermy? In laparoscopic surgery, Insulated equipment must be used and checked regularly to ensure it is intact. Not insulated metallic equipment can potentially create an alternative electrical pathway, so should be kept at a safe distance from the active electrode. Capacitive coupling can occur when alternative current is passed from an insulated instrument to an uninsulated one through a capacitor.
Metallic trocars should therefore have good contact with the abdominal wall to avoid burns, and non-conducting trocars must ensure they are in good condition to avoid burns. Kindly tell us about the different tissue properties. Tissue has a strong influence on the quality of the cut. For example, in tissues with a high resistance such as fat, the output voltage is increased whereas in tissues with a low electric resistance, such as nerves and blood vessels, the output voltage may drop significantly. What is a type and speed of cut? The cutting quality is determined by the speed with which the electrode is moved, quick or slow, and by the type of cut, superficial or deep. What is the size and shape of the cutting electrode? The conditions are different for the generator if cutting is performed with electrode of large surface area or with a fine needle. What is automated electrosurgical systems? With a conventional electrosurgical unit, there is a considerable fluctuation of the output voltage throughout the three seconds period of the cut. What are the limitations? In monopolar mode, good contact between the patient and the ground plate is essential. If this surface area is decreased, for example if the ground plate slips partially off the patient, then this can result in severe burns. Fortunately, many modern machines monitor impedance and will stop working if this occurs. The ground plate should be positioned as close to the operative site as possible, however it should not be placed over a bony prominence, metal prosthesis, distal to a tourniquet, over scar tissue, on hairy surfaces, or on pressure points, to minimize the risk of burns. The plate should also be kept dry. There is also the theoretical risk of smoke and contaminant inhalation when using diathermy to both surgeon and theater staff. Hence appropriate masks should be used in well-ventilated areas. What are contraindications? Implantable devices such as pacemakers and spinal cord stimulators are at risk of damage from the electrical current and diathermy. This can lead to failure of the device. However, this risk is reduced with the use of bipolar instead of monopolar. Incited fibrillators can also interpret the diathermy current as VF and potentially lead to shocking the patient. Consequently, such devices need to be deactivated prior to surgery. What are the parts of surgical diathermy? The major parts are 1. Electrical patient plate with complete set. 2. Foot switch. 3. Bipolar and monopolar cables and vice versa. What are the safety features? The safety features are 1. An error detection system. 2. An error signaling system. Point 3. An error storage system. 4. Low frequency leakage current monitor. Point 5. High frequency leakage current monitor. Point 6. Output error monitoring. Time limit monitoring point 7. Operating errors and neutral electrode safety system. 8. Programmable and user friendly. 9. Frequently used standard settings can be programmed by the manufacturer before delivery and individual customized settings can easily and swiftly be programmed later. 10. A power peak system that delivers a very short power peak at the beginning of electrosurgical cutting to start the cutting arcade thereafter, average power can be limited to relatively small amounts, which signifies an improvement in protection against unintentional thermal tissue damage. 11. Continuous monitoring of current and voltage levels and making automatic adjustment under the control of a microprocessor provides for a smooth cutting action throughout the procedure. What are the risks associated with electrosurgery? The safety aspects in electrosurgical units. A burn. The burn are due to 1. Electrical interference with the heart muscles, ventricular fibrillation danger of explosions caused by sparks and electrical interference with pacemakers and other medical electronic equipment. 2. Burns caused by excess current density. 3. Burn occurs at the dispersive electrode because of failure to achieve adequate contact. 4. The injury can also occur because of an unintended current pathway. 
5. A lesion occurs at a point where the patient is inadvertently touching a grounded object and contact is made over a small area of skin. 6. Presence of moisture, that is, the accumulation of prepping agents, blood or other fluids around the indifferent electrode can give rise to small, highly conductive areas. Burns from small conductive areas between the limbs can be prevented by means of dry cloth placed between them. 7. During surgery, the output power of the electrosurgical unit should not be increased if the desired surgical effect is not obtained. 8. It is advisable to carry out surgical work with a power setting as low as possible, to reduce the risk of burns. 9. The active electrode, when not in use, should be placed well clear of the patient. This is to avoid its activation in case the foot switch is inadvertently pressed. Any another hazards? Another serious hazard associated with the use of surgical diathermy machines is the possible electrocution of the patient from faulty mains operated equipment when one side of an electrical circuit is connected to earth. In order to provide protection against mains current electrocution, a capacitor RF earthed is generally included between the indifferent lead and earth. The output configuration plays an important role in the RF current circuit. There are three technical approaches, the earthed output system, the earth reference system and the isolated system. The value of the capacitor is such that while providing a very low impedance to the high frequency diathermy current, it offers a higher impedance to the mains frequency. This approach also offers only a partial solution to a complex problem. Modern solid-state machines usually have RF-isolated patient circuits. This implies that ideally RF current may take only one path, that is from active electrode through the patient to the indifferent electrode. Okay sir, is any other hazards? High frequency current hazards, A in the earth output system. The indifferent electrode is connected conductively to protective earth. B. The earth reference system uses a capacitor to connect the indifferent electrode to earth. This permits RF currents to flow to earth through the diathermy machine. It effectively blocks the passage of low frequency currents, 50 Hz. C. In the isolated system, the return electrode is floating, that is, there is no intentional connection to earth. The RF leakage current is due to stray capacitance within the machine. Since there is no earth connection, there is no propensity for the RF current to take any earth pathways which may unintentionally develop. However, due to RF leakage pathways inherent in the equipment and leads, no machine can be considered as completely isolated. The degree of RF leakage current is a measure of the degree of isolation of a particular machine. The lower the leakage current, the better the isolation. With the current technology, RF leakage of around 100 mA are generally achieved. Of the three types of electrosurgical output systems earthed, earth referenced and isolated, only the last two are recommended by IEC 1978. For surgical applications in which the danger of ventricular fibrillation cannot be excluded, Electrosurgical units of the isolated output type, type CF, should be used as they offer the best protection against fibrillation. Earth reference systems, type BF are recommended for most general applications. The voltages of the power transformer in a surgical diathermy machine are high enough to cause serious injury. Therefore, when checking voltages, it is advisable to take adequate care. Also, Cautions should be taken to avoid damage to the test equipment due to high voltages and high currents. Okay sir, any explosion hazards? Yes, the last is explosion hazards, lane operating theaters, danger zones can develop through the use of cleansing agents such as ether and alcohol, and by using explosive anesthetic gas or mixtures with oxygen. The sparks associated with the use of surgical diathermy can cause a dangerous explosion. The use of non-explosive anesthetics such as nitrous oxide, fluorothin or halothin is recommended to prevent sparks. 
If flammable gases are used as anesthetics, the electrosurgical unit be located outside the zone in which it is used. The foot switches of the electrosurgical unit should be explosion proof. Some diathermy machines are fitted with automatic at the explosion devices. When the foot switch is actuated or the fingertip switch in the electrode handle is operated, this device causes a stream of nitrogen to emanate from the electrode handle to form a protective cloud around the cutting and coagulating electrode before the high frequency generator is switched on. Hence the explosive gas mixtures in the immediate vicinity of the electrode cannot ignite. An automatic control is incorporated in the unit which ensures that the high frequency current is not switched on until the active electrode is surrounded by the protective gas. This is achieved by using an electrically heated thermistor in the handle which gets sufficiently cooled by the flow of protective gas. This enters at an adequate stream of gas is emanating from the handle. Okay sir, it means any small negligence will be the big hazard to the patient. Yes you are right, okay students today's lecture comes to an end, see all of you tomorrow. Okay, bye bye, have a nice day. Okay sir obeyed bye, same to you thank you. Kindly subscribe my channel, like my videos and click on the bell icon. Thank you.